Hey guys, Dwayne Bryant here from wagertalk.com with another edition of DB's Freebies. Looking to drop a little situation information on you for Tuesday, May 4th. Before I get to that though, let me tell you what I got going on over at dbbets.com. A couple of special deals still going on. Number one, if you buy a 30-day all-access pass, you get a second 30-day all-access pass absolutely free. Two months for the price of one at dbbets.com. Special deal number two, and this is an awesome deal. Um, you get my MLB Through the World Series. Now, I'm number one all-time at Wager Talk in profit from MLB totals. You get my MLB Through the World Series. Uh, no coupon needed. It's just $3.99. Uh, it's a regular, I believe, $9.45. Uh, you get it for $3.99, and in addition to that, I'm throwing in the rest of my NHL season absolutely free. I'm on an 11-1 and run in the NHL. Uh, you'll find this deal in the right-hand column of my page at dbbets.com. It's under the header, Wager Talk Specials. So you want to take advantage of that. MLB through the World Series and the rest of my NHL season as well, all for just $3.99, no coupon needed at dbbets.com. So let's get into the TNA portion here. And as always, just a reminder, never make a bet based on any single trend, angle, or piece of information. Simply use each piece of information as one piece in your handicapping puzzle of each game. Only use it to further support a play you already liked or to make you look closer at a play where the info disagrees with your initial opinion. So let's go to the NBA. Game 511, it's the Dallas Mavericks and the Miami Heat. And this angle says to play against Dallas, hence on Miami. And it says play against any team off a double-digit loss as a favorite of six points or more in a game involving two teams with win percentages of 51 to 60%. Now this angle has gone 32 and 10, 76% winners since 1996. It is 1-1 one and one this season. Now you'd think a good team, which is what we have here based on win percentages, uh, that is coming off an embarrassing double-digit loss in a game in which they were favored by a good amount of points, you'd think that team would be highly motivated and bounce back in its next game. But this angle shows that that is not the case. Uh, this angle shows that these teams play below expectations for a second straight game, possibly being a bit flat after getting embarrassed, uh, and another good team will take advantage of that. Uh, at least that's what this angle shows to be the case. Uh, you can't argue with the results here, uh, so I'll be giving Miami a closer look in this one. Let's go to game 501, the Phoenix Suns and the Cleveland Cavaliers. This angle says to play against Phoenix, hence on Cleveland. And it says play against road teams with a win percentage of 60 to 75% after four or more consecutive wins when playing against a team with a win percentage of 25 to 40%. Now this angle has gone 38 and 11, 78% winners over the last five seasons. It is 3 and 0 this season. So judging by win percentages, we have a good team visiting a bad team. And the good team has won at least four in a row. So there are a couple things in play here. Uh, one, the good team may be flat here coming off all those wins, knowing they're facing an inferior opponent. And two, the line may be a bit inflated here because the public likes backing good teams, especially good teams on winning streaks. And that, that could lead to some value on the dog here. And based on the results of this angle, the inferior team does hang tough and gets the money way more often than not. This, this is one of those hold-your-nose type plays that also falls under the category of sometimes the best bets to make or the hardest ones to make. Uh, but I like this angle, and I'm going to be giving Cleveland a closer look today. Let's move to the NHL here. Game 65, New York Islanders and the Buffalo Sabres. And it says, in the second half of the season, play over when the total is five and a half and the home team has a losing record and is seeking revenge for two straight losses by two goals or more. 
Now this angle is 40 and 15, 73% to the over. Over the last five seasons, it is 6 and 1 to the over this season. Uh, the Islanders are clearly the better team in this matchup, and they've beaten Buffalo three straight times by the same 5 to 2 score. Now, teams seeking revenge tend to want to run up the score, but in this case, I don't think Buffalo is capable. Um, they're overmatched. You know, uh, in my opinion, it's way more likely that the Islanders score a bunch more goals and yet another win. Uh, I, I can't argue the success this angle has, uh, but I don't think this matchup is the best one for it. So I'm staying away from this one, but I'll definitely save this angle for future use when I feel the matchup is a better fit. So let's move on to game 59, the Boston Bruins and the New Jersey Devils. And this angle recommends a play on Boston. And it says play on road teams that are good passing teams averaging five or more assists per game in the second half of the season if they've had five straight games with at least 30 shots on goal. So this angle has gone 78-44 and 44 for 64% winners over the last five seasons. It is 4-2 this season. Uh, this makes perfect sense. We're backing a good passing team, and good passing teams are more difficult to defend. Uh, we're also backing a team that is currently getting a lot of shots on goal, which obviously increases their chances of winning. Uh, I do like this angle. What I don't like is the juice you have to, to lay here on Boston. Um, and keep in mind that Boston just beat New Jersey 3 to nothing last night and clinched a playoff berth in the process. You know, So how motivated will they be tonight? So I, I do like this angle, but this game is a definite pass for me. Let's move to the MLB for some rapid-fire TNA. Number one, over the last two seasons, Seattle's Justin Dunn is a perfect 7-0 against teams averaging 2.75 or fewer extra base hits per game. Number two, the Mets' Jacob deGrom is just 6-15 and 15 in the first half of the season over the last three seasons. Number three, over the last three seasons, the under is a perfect 11-0 when Minnesota's J.A. Happ is a favorite of minus 125 to minus 175. Number four, over the last three seasons, the under is 12-1 when Houston's Zach Greinke starts in road games after a loss. And last but not least, the under is 17-3 and when the Phillies' Aaron Nola starts in home games versus an NL team with an on-base percentage of 315 or worse. And again, another reminder, never make any bet based on any single trend angle or piece of information. Simply use each piece of information as one piece in your handicapping puzzle for each game. Only use it to further support a play you already liked or to make you look closer at a play here if this info disagrees with your opinion. And that will do it for today's TNA. You can follow me on Twitter at WagerTalkDwayne. Don't forget to smash the like button and hit the bell to get notifications. Also, don't forget to head over to dbbets.com and take advantage of those two big deals, buy a month, get a month free, and MLB Through the World Series plus the rest of my NHL season for just $3.99, and that comes from Wager Talk's number one baseball totals handicapper. So that'll do it for me today, guys. As always, best of luck on all your wagers.